this is Katie Burns and I am here at the Dentistry from the Heart event sponsored by Pikeville Family Dentistry and also with assistance from Better Blood So and the Blood So County Health Council. They've really worked together to bring this amazing free event to our community where they can get mammography services, the mammography mobile bus is here, lung screening, a physical therapist, a dermatologist. They have your choice of free extractions, fillings, and cleanings inside. People behind me, what you're seeing right now, they are lined up registering. They've been here since last night. That would have been Friday evening. I think they started lining up and uh, apparently they you know, we're still lining up this morning before dawn. They started registration at 7.30. This is a really long day for everyone, but just, they won't tell you that. They won't tell you that part. They will say, you know, every minute to them, you know, matters because they feel really passionate about bringing this to our community. And we're gonna go around today, meet with some of the vendors so that you can see what was happening if you happen to be out of town. Yeah, I mean, so already they probably, they've probably seen that many people already, maybe even more. And it's, it's 943. I don't know if you can hear them over the speaker or not. Um, but they're just calling out numbers. And over to my right, where you hear the speaker coming from, the camera wanted to pan just a little bit over there. You can see that this is, um, you know, where they have a lot of food services set up. The Department of Health is over there helping people out. It's, they've got a really nice setup. We'll, we'll go over there and show you a little bit more of an intimate look at what they have going on. The food bank is behind the camera, which you can't see. And um, we'll walk down this way and help you meet a few more people. I'm here with Jan Frechette, Tennessee Department of Health, and I'm here with Miss Suzanne Hayes, Dr. Suzanne Hayes, actually. Tell me a little bit about your station that you have going over here in front of the Main Street stage. We have Department of Health with several booths. We have uh, Baby and Me Tobacco Free, which is a program wow. to uh, stop tobacco use. Okay. Hold on. Hi, Sue. Turn around. Come on in. Oh, yeah. Sounds like she's in it now. <laughs> turn, around, turn around and quit talking. Yes. Come on in. Does she look familiar, y'all? Do you know her? I don't know because she's lost so much weight. Oh, yeah. I know. She's but, doing great. Yeah. It all started last year at the Glow Run, so make sure you come back this year. Absolutely, guys. Yes. Okay. Here we've got uh, dental uh, information. We have baby and me tobacco free information. Mm -hmm. We have breast and cervical health. Yeah. Uh, we have nutrition, education, and WIC information, which is great for all moms, yeah. uh, pregnant, expecting moms, and, and uh, babies. Okay. Uh, immunizations, what do we need? Yes. 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 Uh, Thank you for flu, adding that. Flu shots are coming soon. Okay. Ten care kits, uh, emergency preparedness, which is the booth behind okay. over there. CSS and hugs over here, mm -hmm. um, and STD education, okay. and we have free condoms and some snacks. We have snacks. We yeah. have healthy snacks. Yes, healthy snacks, and you've got some teens to our corner that we do have teens. You know, that are our assistants today. They yeah, are host a group from Miss Ashley Fife's uh, class. Yeah, and they are assisting all our vendors. They are manning one of our t uh, tobacco pre prevention booths. Teens Against Tobacco. Tennessee Teens Talk Tobacco. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. We got it. We still push that all we can. Oh, absolutely. One of our favorite programs. I know. Yes. Okay. So, well, thank you for being here. Thank you for all that you've done to bring this event to our community. I know that Dr. Lee wanted to make sure to highlight all that you guys have done. And, you know, it's really a collaborative effort. And I think that's the thing that I want you guys to understand is the more that we get together and the more that we support events like this, the more people we can reach. Right. Well, when I was here last night setting up, I mm -hmm. talked to someone and I, that's, I was nervous about all the stuff coming in and getting yeah. everything done and making sure everybody has their place and all the places were marked. Right. And then I stopped and I said, 
you know what Dr. Lee does is fantastic oh, yeah. and it's fabulous and if yeah. we don't add one single thing this community is benefiting already absolutely so everything we add is just one, one more benefit yeah so we got it it's a collective mission I mean he, he says dentistry from the heart and I think you know what comes from the heart goes to the heart and he's he's, he's certainly put a lot everyone's put a lot of heart into this event and I don't want to leave off um, Dr. Hayes. Dr. Hayes in oh. her department. Yes. Yeah. Tell, tell me a little bit about what you're doing here today. Well, today I'm highlighting the Bledsoe County Health Department Dental Clinic. Okay. Um, we have a dentist there offering services, emergency dental services to adults, and that's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of every week. Mm -hmm. And for children, it's comprehensive care. So we do fillings and uh, cleanings and those type of things. So, mm -hmm. And it's all income-based. We know how expensive and how difficult it is. Uh -huh to make your oral health and your dental health a priority. Mm -hmm. So we want to try to ease some of that burden by having a, our services that are offered at the Bledsoe County Health Department. Yeah. We have a wonderful dentist, we have a wonderful uh, assistant there. So please take advantage of those services and give us a call if you need us. Yes, I mean the longer you wait, the more challenging your issues are going to be. Yes, yes they, they are. are. And you have, you have quite a team here in the community that's ready to support you and help you. Robin London and guide you. Okay guys, thank you for four joining three, me. 423 447 Robin London. <laughs> They're calling out people. Yeah. 423-447-2149 for a dental appointment or for an immunization appointment or for any other service that we provide at the health department. Let's go. We are here with the Dentistry from the Heart event downtown Pikeville and I'm joined with Cuslin. Hi. Hi. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing here today. <clears throat> okay, so um, us students of Bledsoe County High School are here with Health Occupation Students of America okay. to come volunteer and give our time and give back to the community. Well, thank you so much. I know you're sitting right outside the Memorial Health Coach yes. helping check people in. Uh, what inspired you to do this event? Uh, well, really, I just I like to give back to community and help other people, and this yeah. really makes you appreciate so far this morning of people checking in? Oh, there was a bee. <laughs> um, really people just want information and uh -huh. to be healthier people and to really just um, keep up and become better people in their lifestyles. Right, right. Yeah, well thank you for joining us. Thank you for being on camera and working this event. I'm here with Beth Thompson with the Tennessee Department of Health. STD prevention. Very important. They have a nice table display right here for you to stop by and get some education. Beth, tell me more. Well, it's important for everyone's health. Yes. Uh, we have uh, testing and treatment at no out-of-pocket cost. All of our local health departments are available on both a walk-in and mm -hmm. an appointment basis. Just give us a ring and we're be always happy to see you. What about privacy? Uh, you know how people can be. Tell me about that. Anytime someone visits a health department in mm -hmm. Tennessee, there is a, that is private. Okay. And we're, it's just private. Guys, it, that's just their policy. Right, so you can walk in. Right. Are you going to call their parents? No. These no. are confidential. Confidential visits. test. Yes. How easy is the test? What is involved? Um, often it's just a, a specimen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a blood specimen okay. or a urine specimen. It's very simple. Okay. And then, Urinate in a cup. You could right. do that. Right. And <laughs> give a, donate a little bit of blood. It's nothing, just a little bit. Tiny little bit. Well, I mean, think of the impact. A very short amount of your time. There are serious infections that can be easily prevented with uh, with a simple screening. Just a urine specimen, a blood specimen yeah. can detect infections that can be devastating. And so prevention is so much easier than infection. Yeah, ab absolutely. Because it can lead to a lot of serious issues. Absolutely. It's not just, it's not just kind of a simple, but you just can... No. These Pretend are, it doesn't exist. These are very, very serious infections yeah. and they can affect um, unborn as well. Absolutely. So, um, yes, the, the numbers of people who become infected are, mm -hmm. are high and these infections are treatable. Mm -hmm. And so we encourage people to come and see us and get tested. Are you doing screenings for mm -hmm. HPV? 
I don't think so. Okay. Just I mostly STD. STDs. Okay. Syphilis, HIV, gonorrhea, okay. chlamydia are yeah. the primary focus of our program. Okay, good. You guys, services offered in your community. Just walk in. Very give easy. Us a call. Private. Yeah, call. Private. Yeah. <laughs> you give us a call, you may have to wait a little less. If right. you walk in, I tell people, bring a book. <laughs> okay, good to know. I'm here with Fran Barker, Tennessee Family Assistance. She has a booth set up here on Main Street. Tell me a little bit about what you're talking to about today. Well, I work with communities for military services, um, providing resources for military families, not only deployed, but veterans yeah. and their families. Do outreach for these families that are overseas or mm -hmm. on missions in North and South Carolina right now. Oh, so amazing. <laughs> Offered right here. You're, you're here to help. Yes. You just have to be a veteran? Yes. Okay. Or their family member. Family members? Everybody comes down. What do you see most? The biggest need? Biggest need, financial, and the resources for the community. What's okay. available out there for them. Not, yeah. They don't always need financial assistance. They sometimes need information for pet care or repairs for vehicles right. while soldiers are away. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could just call you. <laughs> Resource right here for, for your family. Come find her. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Children's Erlanger, Robert Ward to my right, Amanda Goodhart to my left, and they're here talking about car seat safety? Correct. Okay, look right here to the left. What, what do you want to tell me about today? Well, we're here today uh, giving out information about car seat safety and we're also doing a car seat safety check. Uh, normally four out of five car seats are installed improperly and so that's why we try to get out in the community and check people's car seats to make sure they got them in properly. Uh, we also, if we find a car seat that is out of date or broken, mm -hmm. we're required by law to replace it and that's why we bring these type of car seats with us mm -hmm. today. That is amazing! Right. <laughs> and we have different types, like this is a type that's called a convertible that can be used for uh, rear facing or forward facing. Okay. This is an infant for small babies right out the mm -hmm. nursery or hospital, mm -hmm. infant carrier. These are for older children over here. The, uh, this one here is for a, called a booster seat, and then again, that's a. What age bird. do you think we're here? Is that a, or is it, it by weight? It's by weight and height. Okay. Uh, normally weight and height, but you're normally looking about a third, fourth grader and up. That okay. Age group. Third, okay. Fourth grade and up. These here are normally for one year olds to, uh, I would say, four year olds, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they can go. They can face to the rear. And then once they get uh, over two years of age, then we turn them around and they face to the front. That's why they're called convertibles, because you can use it for two different reasons. Right. Of course, an infant carrier, once they're past infant carrier, they'll go into one of these. Yeah. Guys, so easy just to drive up right here today and you're going to check and... We got I'm going to do back that. Back alley right here, you can pull right in and we'll move the signs, let you pull right in and check oh. it. Uh, we've already uh, installed it couple car seats and check uh -huh. a couple so we've had a little bit of business oh. most people just don't know about it I think yeah. but, uh, well yeah. I, mean, I didn't know about it <laughs> it's an absolutely wonderful service that you're providing here today thank you for coming over well, thanks thank for, you having for having us, us. we yeah. also have information about Halloween safety yep. for children oh. and how to check your candy and all that good stuff how about when the moms try and put the kids in the car seat with all the costume on <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you know that is kind of an issue too yeah. Uh, yeah. Or coats. Yeah, yeah, you're not supposed to put a child in a car seat with a yeah. coat on. You're supposed to take the coat off, right. lighten up the car seat, and then lay mm -hmm. the car, a coat over the top of them because a coat can cause them to slip out. Yeah. yeah. So one important thing that you might want to say to parents listening today that they need to do right now in regards to their car seat. I would tell parents right now, the ones who use the belt system mm -hmm. in the back car seat, they normally have the child in the back seat. Right. The belt pulls out, they'll pull it out and they'll, you know, thread it through the car seat and, and they think they're done. Right. And what happens is that belt is not locked. Mm -hmm. You have to pull that belt all the way out and then listen for it, release it back in and it'll click. And as it's clicking, you know that once you top and tighten it up, it's locked. Right. So many car seats I check, first thing I do is grab that back seat belt and pull it and it is whoop, just like that. And that means that car seat would go flying. Oh. Because they don't lock out the belt. So locking out the belt oh. is the most important thing. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you guys. I'm joined
Cumberland with Cumberland Medical Center here with Dentistry from the Heart. They've got a booth set up here on Main Street and they're going to tell you a little bit about the services that they offer and I'm joined with first Jennifer Thompson, Public Relations. All right, tell me about what special things are coming up for you and a little bit about your services. Yes, we're very excited to be here today. Uh -huh. uh, Cumberland Medical Center is a member of Covenant Health mm -hmm. and we're very uh, excited about Breast Cancer Awareness Month and our upcoming Ladies Night Out. Yes. Uh, we're going to have a mammogram party on Tuesday, October 16th. Tuesday, October 16th. Take a moment, write that down because you're going to need the RSVP, right? Well, um, <laughs> those that would like to stay for dinner with our doctors can oh. RSVP by calling 931 459 7368. Okay. And that will be a dinner with our cancer fighting team where you can learn all about the care and treatment options that are available right here with yeah. us in Crossville, Tennessee. But do they need to RSVP for what comes before the dinner? Nope. Okay. Mm -mm. So they can come on down. And they don't even have to have a mammogram. They can just come and enjoy a good time with other ladies yeah. and have desserts, free little chair massages. We're going to do paraffin hand dips and then uh, also have little mini manis. So the ladies that's last nice. year had a ball. Oh, so, that's very nice. Uh, it's all about awareness and making sure that our ladies take time for themselves because yeah. they often don't. Um, no. <laughs> To real quickly okay. uh, introduce our breast center nurse navigator Jessica. Yes. Hello. Today. Hi. Hi. Breast center navigator. Yes. Okay. Tell me a little bit about what that means. Okay. So what I do is my major role is to walk with our breast cancer patients from mm -hmm. start to finish of their treatment, from diagnosis to end, yeah. and just be a support for them, an educator, and, and an advocate for them. Yeah. That's a really helpful addition because I can imagine you're walking through such a trying time. Yeah. And to have a familiar face yes. from start to finish yes. would be really helpful. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So the other things that I do is I do a lot of breast health mm -hmm. um, awareness, yeah. getting the word out there about your monthly breast exams, getting your yearly mammograms. Yes. Um, the Breast Center has a new theme this year. We are every woman every year. So just remember. Every woman every year. Get your mammograms every year. And self-check. Yes. I mean, that's, I mean, it's just really important to be familiar with what's Correct. going on in your body. Yes. And that way you can, I don't know, have more data to tell your right. physician. Yes. Okay, yes. good. All right. Thank you. We also have Christy Trussell. Yes. Our labor Hello. and delivery manager. Hi, Christy. <laughs> I'm the nurse manager, which I oversee the unit, manage the nurses. Mm -hmm. uh, just want to talk a little bit. We have free childbirth classes. Yes. We have monthly. We have a schedule we're working on for next year. Mm -hmm. We're developing those into a little bit uh, more options for parents because, you know, mm -hmm. they all can't come on one day. And we do those at the evening now. Mm -hmm. And it explains care of the mother and care of the newborn. That's we really important. We also offer a newborn channel that has over mm -hmm. 30 uh, uh, down online demand uh, videos oh. of care of mother and care of baby. Mm -hmm. We also offer, when you deliver at Cumberland Medical Center, a celebration meal. It's a table with uh, like a little uh, evening candlelight dinner for the parents whenever they deliver out there. That's really nice. A large one room that does it all. Uh, oh. Labor rooms, very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Also, we uh, have, excuse me, uh, safety classes, breastfeeding assistance. We're really excited. I mean, that's about really helpful. Issues. The education part of it, it really helps to prepare you before you give birth. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Sounds like a really lovely team approach in a lot of different areas. Right. And that's really good. close to home. Crossville is 30 minutes away, whereas yeah. Chattanooga is an hour. So, it is. We're really excited about uh, our initiative. Though. Yeah. Introduce Grant Berry to you as well. Yes. Hi, Hello. Grant. Thank Hi, you for joining us. You're welcome. So I'm a third year medical student. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, attending Lincoln Memorial University, okay. uh, uh, DeBus College of Osteopathic Medicine. Okay. So I'm doing my clinical rotations at Cumberland Medical Center. So yeah. I'm getting experience in the various uh, fields. Yes. So we'll see uh, in a couple of years uh, what I decide to do. Well, we're glad to have you here. And you live here in Pikeville. I do. Yes. Do. Wonderful to have local community sponsored events and for you coming over. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Anything else that you want to add before we close okay. and move on down the road? Thank you. Thank you Thank for being you. at Cumberland Medical Center. We are inside the Mary Ellen Loker Mammography Memorial Bus. 
mobile bus that goes around giving women the chance to have mammography services in their small town or wherever they go. Really neat opportunity. We're here, it's sitting on Main Street. And you can see this is a first class machine, just what you would find if you went over to Memorial or anywhere to have this test done. And I'm just really impressed with everything that's in here. It's really nice and air conditioned. It's just so great to have this for our communities. We appreciate Mary Ellen Loker for her mobile mammography bus. And I hope that everyone will get a chance to take advantage of this today. Hi, we've stepped inside to meet with Dr. Kim, dermatologist. He's here providing services for people. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing today and where you normally work. Uh, yeah, so we're doing a free skin cancer screenings. We do mm -hmm. skin checks for any moles you may have or um, any weird growths you have on you. Yeah. Uh, and, and some of them we can cut out, some of them we'll just recommend that you need a biopsy. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously can't do a biopsy here, but mm -hmm. uh, for people who don't have insurance, and we're doing mm -hmm. um, consults for rashes or, mm -hmm. or anything really. And uh, if you have a skin tag or something that, that you just don't like, we'll do some cosmetic stuff for you too. Yeah. So I just took someone's uh, uh, mole that they didn't like or a growth that they didn't like off their face because mm -hmm. they just didn't like it. So. Right. Um, just do that for the community to help out. Uh huh. And you're not normally here. No. So normally we're. Uh, I'm in uh, Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. Our office is on Gun Barrel and Shallowford Road. Okay. Uh, there we have many other locations. We actually have another location in Dayton, which is okay. the closest to here. So I'm actually referring some people who have insurance okay. to go over there. Okay. Um, so it's it's convenient. It's only 30 minutes, I believe. Yeah. Drive. Yeah, and it's it's very important because a lot of times you know we're in the sun, we don't wear sunscreen, mm -hmm. we have some suspicious moles, mm -hmm. and you can let people know really quickly if that's something they need to check further yep. because skin cancer is is very prevalent. Yes, and yeah. very very easy to take care of <laughs> if you get it soon enough. Exactly. Yeah, and I give you some education material here too mm -hmm. uh, for for uh, what to what is a what bad to mole. look for exactly like this. Yeah, one, for example. Oh, the ABCDs of melanoma. Yes. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. And a lot of people don't know that. They think, actually, they're coming in here with a mole that's raised and looks, they think it looks bad, but right. for, to me, that looks totally normal. But then I'll see yeah. another mole and say, no, that looks bad. So yeah. it's a uh, it's good education experience, mm -hmm. too. A, a really easy opportunity to come and talk with someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if they don't have insurance, uh, it's hard to refer them to our Dayton office, but mm -hmm. um I'll say, hey, come back in a year. You know, we'll, we'll, right. we'll probably just come back next year too, and we can yeah. monitor it and see if it's changed or not. If it mm -hmm. has, we can refer you yeah. to the health department or something like that. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here today. No problem. This is <laughs> an honor that you'd come over. Anytime. Okay, guys, this is the end of our event. We're going to wrap up for today. It was a really uh, fun day meeting with all the vendors here. A lot of education, beautiful event, free for our community, brought to you by Pikeville Family Dentistry, Better Bledsoe, the Bledsoe County Health Department. Thank you for joining us. Please share and like this event, this broadcast, because it's going to mean a lot to our community in the future. Thank you.